How does an image in your mind, a pineapple bun looks like? You may visualize that there's some pineapple jam inside, but in reality, there isn't any pineapple at all. The name is derived from a shape which looks like a pineapple. It is a sweet bun covered with a crumbly topping, and it is one of the most popular items in the Hong Kong style cafe. In this video, I would like to show you how to prepare this pineapple bun, which is popular in Hong Kong at home. Keep watching. Let's start by making the dough for the bun. Add the bread flour into the mixing bowl. Then follow by some milk, some salt, sugar, and egg. In a separate bowl, mix the yeast and the warm water together. Give it a stir and wait for 5 minutes. Then pour it into the mixing bowl. Now I use a spatula to combine all the ingredients. When it comes together, then continue mixing the dough with an electric mixer with a dough hook. After a few minutes, it will start to turn into an elastic dough. Now I add one more ingredient, that is the softened butter. Continue mixing until it becomes shiny, elastic, and no longer stick onto the mixing bowl. At this stage, the gluten is well developed. You can stretch it thinly and it will not break. This test is called the window pane test. Set aside, cover it and let it double in size. After 30 to 40 minutes, it's ready. If you poke your finger into it, it will not bounce back. Punch down the dough, remove it and put it onto a working surface. After the dough has doubled in size, Put the dough on the working surface and knead it by hand for a while. Then measure its weight and divide it into 10 equal portions. You can also divide it into 12 portions if you want the buns to be a little smaller. Let each portion of the dough to relax for a few minutes and then roll it out to become a circle. Fold the side to the center and then overturn it. Place it underneath your palm until it takes the shape of a small ball. Apply some beaten egg on the top portion of each dough so that the topping will stick on it and will not fall off after baking. Besides the dough, we also need a topping for the bun. We need some sugar and butter. We also need some egg. Milk powder. salt and some baking powder to make it crumbly and light. Some all-purpose flour. And mix all these together just like making cookies. Divide it into 10 equal portions. And then cover it and let it refrigerate for 30 minutes. 
Now it comes to the last part before baking. Place a portion of the topping on a cling film and then cover it with another. Press the topping with the pastry cutter to form a circle. You can use the rolling pin to roll it out a little more if the circle is not big enough to cover the dough of the bun. Then remove the top layer of the cling film and place the side of the dough that has been covered with the egg liquid on the topping. Turn it over and remove the cling film. Squeeze the topping against the dough so that it adhere on it firmly. Then use the pastry cutter to make a few indented lines on the surface. And now it looks like a pineapple. Apply some egg liquid on the surface before baking. Bake at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes or until it turns golden brown. And it's done! That's how I prepare the pineapple bun, which is called Bo Lo Bao in Chinese. If you'd like to get the recipe, I have included the recipe in the description right below the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and give me a like. I'll then see you again in some other videos on this channel soon. And bye for now.